السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope you are all well. Are you ready to our lesson today? Today our lesson Surat Al-Buruj verses from 12 to 22. Let's start our lesson. Our lesson steps. As usual we recite Huri Quran and say the dua. Second, we will recite the verses applying the rules of Tajweed. Today we have the rule of Tanween. Explain the general meaning from the verses. Plenary. At the end of the lesson, our activity is time. Let's read the dua in Arabic, then in English. I want you to repeat after me. اللهم اجعل القرآن العظيم ربيع قلوبنا Oh Allah, make the Quran the spring of my heart You can say this dua anytime you want Our learning objective today To recite the selected verses 12 to 22 While applying the rules of Tajweed We have revision about the verses of Surah al buruj from 1 to 11. Let's read the verses and the meaning of the verses. Today our verses from 12 to 22. Let's read the verses in Arabic, then in English, and let's listen to the verses of Surah al buruj إن بطش ربك لشديد إن بطش ربك لشديد إنه هو يبدئ ويعيد إنه هو يبدئ ويعيد وهو الغفور الودود وهو الغفور ذو العرش المجيد ذو العرش المجيد فعال لما يريد فعال لما يريد هل أتاك حديث الجنود هل أتاك حديث الجنود فرعون وثمود فرعون وثمود بل الذين كفروا في تكذيب بل الذين كفروا في تكذيب
الصغير والله من ورائهم محيط والله من ورائهم محيط بل هو قرآن مجيد بل هو قرآن مجيد في لوح في لوح محفوظ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. The rules of tajweed. Our rules of tajweed today. بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. السلام عليكم. Learn tajweed the easy way. Three minute series lesson forty five a in which we will learn the first rule of noon sakina or tanwin and that is to express the sound. What is noon sakina? Noon with a sukun. That is noon sakina. And tanween is related to noon sakina because you can write ban as ba noon sakina. Ban or bin or bun. It is as if noon sakina is sitting inside the second fatha or second kasra or second dhamma. An in un. That's why the rules for both are same. Noon sakina or tanween were here. Because we are concerned as to what comes after n sound. So whether it is noon sakin or tanwin, the sound ending sound is n n, and what comes after is what is concerning us. For example, if noon sakina is followed by a throat letter like min hu, okay, in that case you read it normally, naturally, okay, or it can be in between two words like in hua. Ha is a throat letter in hua. Normally, or mauludun hua dun, it's like nun sakina. Or tan means the same sound, mm is the same sound, ending sound, mauludun hua. So you read now normally. So the first rule is if nun sakina is followed by hamza ha, ain ha, or ghain ha, you recite nun sakina normally, express the nun sound. Same thing is for tan mean. Why is that? A possible reason is. Noon sakina sound is here, an, tongue tip touching the top, an, and hamza ha, ain ha, ghain ha, root letters and throat letters are far away, so there is no conflict. So you read it normally. So let us take the practice. Noon sakina followed by hamza ha, ain ha, ghain ha. Repeat after me. Wayan auna, wayan auna, anharu, anharu. An anta, an anta, and it can be between two words like min hasanatin, min hasanatin, min ghairi, min ghairi, min khairin, min khairin. Okay, let's take tanween followed by hamza ha, ain ha, and ghain ha. Adabun alimun. Adabun alimun. Asihrun hadha. Asihrun hadha. Sami'un alimun. Sami'un alimun. عليم حكيم عليم حكيم رب غفور رب غفور عليم خبير عليم خبير That's it. جزاكم الله خير والسلام عليكم. Please visit understandquran.com for our courses on read the Quran, learn the Jweed. and understand Al-Quran and for one-to-one -one learning. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum. Let's read about the Noon Sakina and Tanween. Our activities today, I want you to recite the verses of Surah Al-Buruj from 12 to 22. Search about the rule of Tanween from Surah Al-Buruj at the end of the lesson, our activities time. Thank you, my students. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.